Imagine that after facing so many CV screening rejections, finally you got an interview opportunity from a German employer. But if you are underprepared for the technical interviews, how will you able to land your dream job? In this video, I am going to share 6 must know technical interview formats for Germany jobs. Stay tuned because by the end of this video, you will have the edge that you need to clear the technical interviews. The first round is online MCQ round, multiple choice questions. This interview ranges from 15 minutes to 1 hour. Companies use this view as a first round to filter out the eligible candidates for their further rounds. It can be from sites like HackerRank or it could be from any other sites. I have seen this for both programming related roles and non-programming related roles as well. In this round, the employer checks about your basic technical capabilities. All you need to care about is what are the technical or functional skills that are required for that particular role and then you need to prepare yourself. What I quickly remember now is the LinkedIn skill based test. This could be one good starting point. You can showcase your skill in LinkedIn as well. At the same time, you can also practice for your technical interview. But if you do extensive research in internet, you can find so many such MCQ tests which you can use to prepare for your interview. Second one, programming or designing challenge. For programming related roles, you may get hacker rank or lead code related problems. For non-programming roles, based on your background, you will get something related to your field. For example, in one of my experiences, I was asked to design a warehouse. If I am going to design it from scratch, what are all the things that I will consider? How I will design the warehouse? What are the software systems that I will put in place? What are the different kind of human resources that I will include? So many such things. This is just an example. Based on your background and experiences, you will also get a similar challenge that you need to solve. But this round can happen in two ways. One can be online challenge, the other can be offline challenge. Online challenge means you will be given a problem and you will be supervised by the interviewer right in the same time. Offline challenge means you will be given a problem and you will be asked to provide your solution after 2-3 days. It also happened to me like this. On one Friday, I was given the problem statement and I was given two days of time, Saturday and Sunday. And on Monday, I was supposed to present my solution to them. This is what I name it as offline challenge. Third one, some kind of whiteboard activity. This can happen for people who are visiting the site for the interview. There could be one or more interviewers sitting next to you and they will ask you to do the same stuff what you have done in online in the other rounds in the whiteboard to see how you are brainstorming things and how you are coming up with solution and how you are sharing it with the interviewers. These are the things that they are checking with this whiteboard activity. If you find this piece of content useful, then please like this video so that it reaches to many job seekers and everyone gets benefited out of it. Fourth one, group tasks. This can also happen both online as well as offline. There will be more than two candidates available for this interview round and there will be a bigger problem which will be given to the candidates. The problems could be technical or functional or even something very generic thing. Each one of the candidates is expected to do or resolve some kind of problem in that big picture. So when you do this kind of activities, interviewers are looking for your team collaboration and your ability to contribute within the defined time, how you are coming up with your own solutions and how you are contributing to the team. And after completing or after resolving the whole problem, how you are presenting yourself, but you are giving opportunities for others or you are taking the lead these kind of the things that they are trying to check fifth one presentation tasks this round generally is conducted in two different ways one using generic case study based problems two using real problems in their real projects you will be given one such problem and you will be expected to solve that or come up with a solution for the problem. Then you need to present it to all the interviewers. Most of the times it's a group of people and sometimes it could be even only one interviewer. The interviewers will ask why you did what you did. Why can't you do in the other way? What if 
this happened what if that happened so these kind of situational based questions will be asked to you so you need to be prepared to answer these kind of questions mostly i have seen this as an offline task and you will be given one or two days of time and finally the normal typical q and a technical interview sessions i don't need to explain a lot about this this is the most common interviewing format used by multiple employers either physical face to face interview or online face to face interview you will be asked the technical or techno functional question and you are expected to answer for that let me know in the comments what kind of technical interview format that you have attended and what is the result of it in case if you have attended a different kind of interview then share it in the comments so that even the other people who are reading the comments get to know that if you think this video is useful to you then please like this video and share your thoughts in the comments also share it with your other friends who are looking for a job in germany thank you for watching this video i will see you in my next video